What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. I am a little bit late to this party, but I have been playing another mobile drifting game, waiting for Torque Drift to come out for the full release. FR Legends, this game is actually so much fun. It's a cartoon style drift game. It's a lot of fun. As you can see, we got a S13 with a rocket bunny, no hood, blue uh, intercooler piping and servo piping, blue roof cage, roll cage, roof cage, a jaw can break and all that on the inside rocking some nice looks like gram light wheels on some fr legend street tires so we're here today to uh, have a little fun with this game and uh well get into some uh tandem situations and uh see how we do so i figure we're just going to uh go into some grassroots drifting we do have some other tracks we do have drift park a b c and we also have irwin dale speedway and uh Maname. So, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, so we're gonna get sideways with this, but we're gonna first take a look at the car, make sure we are good to go. Looks like we are fully stocked on tires, as well as fully repaired. So uh, I think it's just time to send it. So we're gonna go first, we're gonna go to Drift Park A here, and it looks like we're going up against the uh, Rift Missile himself, so this game is a lot of fun, and uh, I've been having a lot of fun with this game waiting for Torch to come out, so we're gonna flick it in, try to run that wall as best we can. I do have the coping points and stuff on currently right now, but I will probably turn them off very soon. I'll try and transition that one, and get that one. So we got a little bit of a lead on that first one. Score 94 to 81. So we're going to try and uh, a good uh, tandem here. See, oop, I was not ready to hit the start, but we have a little bit more power than these guys, so initiate him right behind him. A little tap of the brake, trying to stay on his door, get as many points as we can. Uh, now losing him a little bit in the latter portion, and then we smack the wall. So I do not think we're going to take the win on that one, but if I wouldn't have smacked the wall, maybe it would have been better. Yeah, he got a 106 to my 71. So uh, I feel like he's definitely going to take the win on us. Yeah. So he did take the win on us. So we're gonna go to the next track just because I actually enjoy this track probably the most. And uh, we're actually gonna bump it up to uh, the uh, pro, pro level cars. It's like we got Seth in his uh, BRZ FRS. So this track is actually one of my favorite tracks right now to run. Let's look it in. We are on tilt steering. That's why I don't see any of my controls. I am on just tilt and tap screen. Tap the E right there, a little bit offline there, but we'll uh, bring it back in, but we're gonna miss that clip though. And I don't think Seth is anywhere to be found. So, a decent run, not a perfect run, only a 99.4, we couldn't have gotten a little better. He got a uh, 69, he must have been way far back there. We'll take a look at the replay of this one, because we're gonna try and get a good uh, good chase run here. Gonna try and uh, stick to his door, we'll initiate in with him. Ooh break here we go the tandems in fr legend are so much fun right there on him gonna get that mimicking point try to break and not tap him try and get the other mimicking slow it down so we don't overshoot him but we did tap him there but still a very decent run we will be able to take the win on that one for sure yeah we took the win on that one so let's take a look at the replay on this because uh kind of want to find out where Seth was so the replay angles in this game are so much fun. The interior view, watching him uh, work that wheel back there. But this overhead camera view is probably my favorite view of the game because you get a better I idea of like where they were compared to you. Yeah, he was a way offline, slowing down a lot. So as for my chase, my chase is actually pretty good. So like I said, this game is a lot of fun. Uh, I jumped on the bandwagon a little late with this game, but uh, we're here. We're getting sideways. A little bit of break on that one. Tried to suck it in but didn't want to suck it in too close right there nice nice little door a little hesitant on my transition but right there definitely didn't want to smack into him and this is where we uh kind of bump into him a little bit so overall a good run there so now we are going to go to uh just park c we're going to drop down to grassroots because trying to trying to make some good tandem so these guys in the pro were kind of uh, outrunning me because i don't have a lot of a lot of power in this car yet Good on the wall, 10 of 12. Getting these clips, running the outer line. Gotta get this outer clip. Hard handbrake in. 
cut, cut us down at slower speed. Oh, wait, what? That's not cool. That threw me way offline, so we both pretty much zeroed. How did he get 15? He threw me way offline by hitting me. So now we're going to have to... I don't think we're going to be able to uh, win this one because of the... Uh, that little hiccup. But the cool thing about the game that I found is actually very interesting is the uh, docu points for straightening and uh, opposite drift. So even though this is AI cars right now, like they can't be manging down the straights because you know you would get dock drops of drift and stuff like that. So it's kind of more of a more set geared towards tandems than uh, some of the games I found. So it's kind of cool we did lose that so i kind of want to see exactly what oh i hit retry instead of video so we're just going to try it again we're going to try to send it here then we'll probably hit irwindale because irwindale is uh this weekend the big final battle of the fd irwindale nine of 12 on that wall got our bonus to that they're really hard on the hand right there to cut that line try and stay as close to the perfect line as possible little hand right there perfect transition to so hit me there but we're good Back number one cone, staying in drifts. We were a bit off that wall by a lot because we didn't get any points for that, but a solid lead run nonetheless. So if you guys are playing FR, what kind of cars you got? What kind of car you running? What class you running in? What's your favorite track? Um, I do like that second skid pad section. That is kind of my go-to track if I want to make some money. Ooh, we were kind of overrunning him on the start, but... We're going to try and uh, make up for that. That's not going to make it up. I'm smack into the door. It's a little bit too much of door dive, but we will get the mimicking there. See, I'm trying not to hit him. This track is a track that I'm actually uh, not that great at because I try and dive in too much. Uh, my best track is that second track that we did, which we will probably hop to real quick. Um, oh, apparently I lost my bumper. This is probably my best track um, that I've run so far. We are going to hit Irwindale, of course, and as well, we will go to the uh, Japan tracks, which are very hard to drift. I was really off that wall. So, I know what you guys are saying. Why am I running grassroots? Well, grassroots for me is fun because I can get some really good points and get really high runs and then my follow runs can be really close and really door to door so I can get you know over the 200 and get like 1200 points or 900 points in the uh, in the battle so it's quite nice to be have a little more power than them because I can uh, do this I can suck up on their door get a nice get a nice tandem like this try and do as much as I can dive back in too much I always tend to do that. I always tend to dive in too much and hit him there. We're going to try and stay here. So, like I said, I enjoy running that class because I get a chance to um, get some really close to the door action. So we did take the win on that one. So now, I feel like we should check our tires. We got 68%. We got $10,000, so we're getting, uh, getting up there in the money. So we're going to hit to Irwindale. Irwindale Speedway. Definitely was worth the uh, the money that I spent to get it, which is sweet because they do have the chicane just like Irwindale does in FD. We're gonna run to the chicane, we'll try and get a good wall ride. We're gonna flick it in. That's not how we do that. But we did break our back end, which is kind of cool. This car has this game has damage. You can see my back quarters popped in. So now we're gonna try this again. There we go. Ah, drop down a little bit. There we go. Let's try and stay. Nice and high up on the bank. Got all of our clips. Hit that clip. Transition this one. A little bit off course there, but we are right on that wall in that transition. I'm going to cut this front clip. So a pretty decent lead run. We're gonna definitely check that wall ride on the uh, latter part of that track because that was a uh, right on the wall scrape in there. So now we gotta try and get a good follow. Coming out of the start chicane, right behind him. He did not initiate, which is going to, that's the first time I've ever seen this. So I guess we're going to 
finish the run. I am not sure what happened. This is the first time. Oh my. Okay, buddy. So this is the first time I've actually seen something like that happen. So if you guys have had something like that happen, let me know because I've never seen that. Where he didn't initiate. Did I cause him not to initiate? I mean, we did take the win, but I didn't want to win like that. So we're going to try this again. We're going to try and get a good wall ride. I'm not sure if I bumped him or uh, caused him not to initiate, but initiate your sin. It's almost like a double initiation. Kind of very wavery on this uh, bank. This would not be a good FD run. So this would be criticizing me a lot for this. That's too wide out. Off track, but back on track. Kind of running that wall. Got to handbrake that. That was a little bit of a greasy run there. Not a very good lead run at all. Everyone knows a hard track because you counter, you like initiate too much, and then it's almost it's almost hard to stay up in line. So initiate in. There we go. I'm gonna try and dive down on him. So if you guys do have Irwindale, what's your uh, best score on here? Don't lie. I want to know what it is. If it's up there in the hundreds, let me know. But Irwindale's a fun track to drive, especially when you get that first bank right. It looks like we had a very good chase there. Is it enough to take the win? I'm not sure. No, it is not. It's close. But I want to try and get a good wall ride here at the Irwindale track before we go to Japan track, but my car's definitely looking like a drift missile now. So we're gonna initiate in. There we go. That was kind of fade out there, but a little uh, e-brake tap to get us back. He's running pretty low down there. We're gonna flick in. We actually took out that clip. Let's go wide there. And there's the opposite track. So struggling here at Irwindale right now, but we're going to uh, try and make the best of it. Maybe we can get a good uh, chase run on Brian here and uh, be good. So like I said, FR Legends, definitely a fun mobile drift game. Um, I am just on tilt steer, so ooh, there we go. So that's why you don't see any controls on the screen. I am using my tilt steering, like most drift games I usually use tilt steer, which is probably one of the funnest way to do it. This is a very good chase run. I need to try and close the door though. I don't think I can. Oh, almost overshot that. So, I don't think that's going to be enough to take the win because the deficit we had, nope. So we're going to try one more time here at Irwindale, then we're going to head to Japan, try the jump section, and hopefully we can uh, come out with some uh, good runs and in Japan. That's what I wanted. This is a better, this is a better wall run. Not exactly on the wall like I've been before, but let's see if we can not overshoot this transition. There we go. All right, this is this is good. This is a, a good solid lead run. But he's right there. Knock that clip out, but he is right there. He has the advantage on me on a chase. His proximity was very good. So we gotta try and match that here. This is a battle of battles right now. Oh, I'm from the start. I wasn't paying attention. So he was right there. We're gonna try and do the same. But I don't think we are gonna be as close as he was. Let's we can get some mimicking points. Nope. None there, but we are staying in his door, gaining those points. Oh, that's probably what did it. Oh, if I wouldn't have hit him, if I wouldn't have hit him and lost those 10 points, I would have had 100. And uh, we would have been able to take the win. Well, so now we are gonna head to one of the Japan tracks. I don't have the other one. I'm working to get that 30,000 to get that one done. So, uh, this is a very hard entry area for this track. It's very weird. You don't wanna drift the beginning, but you could also hit the cone or hit the wall if you turn too much. There you go. There we go, here we go. Kick it in and, yep, that's usually what happens a lot with me. Like I said, this is a very hard track to actually get a hold of. So if you guys have the game, you guys have this track, and you guys have some tips for me on how to not fail like that, let me know down in the comment section down below because 
This track is probably one of the hardest tracks that I've tried to drive in the game. There we go, that's better. See? I always go too close to the wall. You know, we're gonna do a follow on him and see, you know, maybe maybe doing a follow will help. There we go. Alright, that's a little better, but straight huge straighten points there though. And too much into him, so this track. is a difficult one to drive. And I'm just diving way too much into him, getting a little bit uh, overconfident. So we're gonna try and get another good run here. So the other cool thing is you can do practice runs where you can just run the track constantly and continue to keep running the track without any issues. So here we go. Nope. A lot of fails here in Japan. So like I said, if you guys wanna keep seeing FR on the channel, don't forget to tap like button, subscribe now, subscribe right YouTube. Appreciate all the support if you become one. As always, you guys know, follow me on Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram. That was a good thing, but there goes some opposite drift and straighten. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram. All of which are found in the description box below. I do appreciate all the support. More for the Horizon 4 content, as well as Horizon 7 content on the channel. And of course, Dark Drift will be back on the channel as soon as it comes out. From what I'm hearing, October 26th is the release date. So. We're gonna try and see how we can get a follow here. My car is definitely looking like a Japan drift missile. We are almost out of tires, so it is a good thing that we are pretty much done for today's episode because, well, we're out of tires. And he's gone. So that is one thing that this game is really cool. It has tire wear, and you have to buy tires as well as damage on the car. So, until next time, guys, I just lost the comp, uh, tack. You know. He's the drift, one of the drift guys. So I mean, I guess it's a good thing. So FR Legends, definitely a good, definitely a good, uh, good game. Three thousand dollars to fix that. Oof, man, I don't want to end this on a, on one of those. So I think we're gonna go to uh, a pro battle at my favorite track and see if we can't get get ourselves some redemption here with our uh, beat up S13. Probably the last run that these tires are going to be able to take. Okay, you know, well, that's not going to help. Hit the wall, so we lose all these clips. Try to go a little bit too, uh, too gangster on that initiation and uh, trying to wall ride that a little bit too much. So, we're going to come pretty much even on him, so if we can get a good chase run, we can maybe still have an advantage. But you can't really win from a chase. You have to have a good solid lead run in order to have a good chance so let's hit in and there's another wall hit I'll try to cut the corner just to get some proximity there we go get the mimicking great so don't smack into him Pull it up a little bit mimic that way and too much of a door die so I think we got one run left on our tires why not just send it so I hope you guys enjoyed this FR Legends video do have a lot of fun playing this game. Some subscribers have been saying bring FR to the channel because of my Instagram post. That was a perfect wall ride. 12, 12 kind of was a little bit sketchy, so I don't know how I got away with that. We'll definitely check the replay on that one. But we uh, have a solid, solid lead run. Over 100 points right there. 105. We'll take it to 80. We have a big advantage going into our chase. So, uh, well. Let's do it. There we go. Let's see if we can get a good chase. And end this one on a high note. Initiate him with him. Right on his door. That's what I wanted to do. He's on the brakes, so I'll hit him. Get that mimicking point. And once again, I wasn't on the brakes soon enough. But we will continue for that. Still a very decent run. And we do we will take that win. 199. Just under 200. Only got 800, but we're gonna check the tape on these because I'm curious how this uh this wall run did. Oh, I kind of think I glitched out that glitched out the game on that. So FR Legends definitely a great fun drift game. Definitely something you pull out of your pocket and play around and have fun with. Hope you guys enjoyed the content on here on FR. 
and we'll be bringing more to the channel if you guys want it while we are waiting for Torque Drift to come out because you all know Torque Drift is my favorite pocket drift game on the mobile platform and this was the good entry there we go nice and uh nice little nice little line there's the the mimic and he broke a little bit too much causing me to hesitate and then right there we're back on the door so as always i like thank you guys for watching until next time i'm evil rabbit and i will see you guys on the next one